Hello and welcome to my first um, demonstration of a prototype RGB scanner for Knight Rider replicas. So thanks for waiting. Um, here's a quick rundown of some of the things that it can currently do and I'll talk a bit about some of the features that I foresee putting in. So um, to go over the dimensions, it's 32 millimeters high by 25 millimeters deep. So that makes it um, about um, one inch deep and by one and a quarter inches tall. Um, please note that this is indeed a prototype but it's pretty close to what I'll end up finally going with. So I'll just turn it on uh, using the key fob remote. So as you can see on startup all the LEDs come on and then fade down um, at once. Now at the moment I've got this running at half brightness because it is quite bright um, to be looking at all the time. Um, I'll show you a quick change of color so if we might want to change to yellow. So there's our yellow and we can flip back to red. And I'll just briefly demonstrate full brightness because um, since I'm the one sitting here looking at the thing um, I'll end up with spots in my eye. So here we go full brightness. Now sitting here looking at that, that is super bright so I'm going to put it down to something a bit more sensible um, for the purposes of this video. Um, as you can see here at the back we've got a um, weather pack connector so if you need to take the car, um, take the scanner out of the car you can do that easily. On the back here we've got a, a couple of angled brackets and if you can see closely there's a um, cap screw on each one and they're on a um, slider bar so this means the scanner is height adjustable depending on the nose you've got in your car and the various clearances you've got etc etc and because of that slot you can flip the brackets up around the other way which means that you can install the scanner um, whichever way up that you want to depending on where you've got the battery in your car whether it's on the left or the right hand side so you can put this wiring at the um, the end of the car that's most convenient for your setup. So that's the basic physical um, construction of the scanner. Um, what I've got at the moment, just running it quite basically, is just a little wee um, Arduino Mega with um, an RF receiver. What I envisage um, doing later on um, will be adding controls um, not just through the key fob but also through um, a smartphone or tablet or laptop with Wi-Fi on it and all you would be needing is an HTML5 compatible browser and then you'll be able to um, control all kinds of things such as the speed of the scanner, the um, trailing effect the um, brightness, the pattern on display, the color you want and perhaps configure the buttons that the key fob can do. Um, for example with a four button key fob I can get out of that 24 different functions by doing a single click, a double click, a triple click, single click hold, double click hold, triple click hold. That's per button. And with 24 functions that's really hard for anybody to really properly remember so that's why given the features of the scanner having um, control through your smartphone will be the better way um, to go about doing it. Um, you also have key fob remote as well for, for doing um, some simple basic commands when you want to have it in your pocket and you want to um, show certain effects and give the illusion that Kit is choosing to do this himself rather than you remotely controlling it. For a control in the car, I'm thinking about something small that might look in, in appearance a bit like your car stereo where you've got an LCD screen and you've got a knob just the side of it where you can rotate it left and right to navigate through menus and you push the button to select particular menu items. Um, from that you'll also be able to um, set up the Wi-Fi access point name for the scanner um, and the password and various power saving features. For example, uh, if you haven't been using the Wi-Fi on the scanner 
for, for argument's sake, quarter of an hour, the Wi-Fi will automatically shut itself off um, to save power. And with a, a press of the key fob button, the Wi-Fi will wake up again, come out of power saving mode, and you'll be able to reconnect to it from your phone. Um, another form of remote control will be from a computer over a USB um, connection. So by sending serial commands, it can um, take over the um, Wi-Fi access point of the um, scanner controller and you can control it in other ways from some other um, main computer you might have in your car. Um, I don't want to get too um, specific about what the controller might be at this point simply because a lot of people have um, their own ideas on how they want to build their kit. I mean you just need to look around on various forums to see the kind of different creative ideas people come up with. So while there'll be a base um, kind of control that you'll be able to add to it and pull it apart and change it as you um, as you need to. The software should also be um, in place upgradable. So if I add a new feature, fix a bug, you won't need to send back your controller to me. I'll um, send you some some code or perhaps a binary and you can upload it into the scanner yourself um, and you'll be good to go straight away. Of course if that's not something um, you want to do then you can send it to me and I'll send you um, a re replacement with new firmware in there. Um, that's pretty much it although um, perhaps to add um, this bar is made of aluminium um, considering either having it anodized or either powder coated uh, the issue with uh, anodization is that any scratches in the aluminium tend to be showing up and anod sorry not anodizing um, powder coating tends to hide that so that's about it um, if you've got any questions just post them in the comments below cheers